In this video, we will show you how to customize your own captive portal with APM100 user interface. First, log into the APM100. After logging in, go to Access Point and choose Captive Portals. You'll find 8 default scenarios for you. If you want to make further customized settings, we're going to show you how to make your one-of-a-kind captive portal with for IPNet APM100 system. At the upper right corner of each scenario, there are three icons. Go to the first one, Captive Portal setting to set the name, landing page URL, and client's maximum session time. Here we adjusted the URL to the for IPNet website and 2 hours for the maximum session time. After all the settings are done, return to the Captive Portal page. Go to the second icon, Captive Portal Editor. You'll see there are three kinds of sizes that you can switch between to match your mobile devices. Then go to the View component to see the object on your Captive Portal, and the preview for the final check. For the background, click on the background image to change a color or upload an image you like. There are a few other options below for setting your background. After uploading your own background image, let's move on to the basic settings where you can add text, dividers, images, and etc. For your own logo, you can change the logo image by clicking on the default image. If you need to add quotes, just click, hold, and drag it to the desired location, then click the words to edit. In the same way, add the multilingual column depending on your preference. When it comes to authentication options, Facebook and email login are available. Assume that we only need email authentication. You can just click on the Facebook object and click the delete icon. And to the right side, you can add advertisement to your login page. Switch on and set the duration. Here we upload the image for promotion and set the time to 5 seconds. Besides, there are undo, redo options. Empty canvas if you want to start over and save when you think it's ready. On the right hand side of the screen, the style manager can help you design the object you just chose, like the size or color. Here you can further adjust your captive portal. For example, you can modify the font size to make it more obvious and add border to the quote. You can also change the color to make it stand out even more. When you think it's ready, click on the save button. Now you have your own captive portal style. For the last part, we'll show you how to apply the template to the Manage APs. Choose the Template tab and find VAP SSID and Captive Portal, then click Configure. Here you can modify the ESSID name and choose the template you just created. After you're done with the settings, click Apply. Next. Go to AP list and choose the Managed AP, then click Apply Settings. Select the template you just configured. The status will show Applying at this stage, and it takes about 5 minutes for the configuration. When the status is back to online, you can connect to the corresponding ESS ID and log in with the specific template you just chose. Here we have a 5 second advertisement that we just uploaded. Enter your email address to log in and it will automatically redirect to the specific URL. Now you can start Wi-Fi marketing campaign and please your customers with the customized captive portal.